Good evening to everyone here at the Synergy 001 team, where magic is about to unfold. This is session number three. We are coming in from across the world. We're coming in with some of the most fascinating people on the planet who have decided to possibly hear out Captain Sweep and the very secret plan and perhaps participate in growing a uh, movement towards a love-based economy. <laughs> and each person here is a pioneer and is a visionary in terms of what they want to create. And why doesn't everyone introduce themselves? And why don't you start out by saying, what could be your largest goal for 2021? Say a little bit about yourself, and then just why don't you start out with what your, your largest goal is for 2021? Jordan, you want to start? What your largest? Hi, I'm Jordan. I go by a bunch of other names as well, but Jordan's the primary one. Um, my largest goal for 2021 is to experience a beautiful, relax, and enjoyment of collective pace, of collective co creation. There's been a lot of uh, excitement and buzz and like projects and ideas and creativity. And now I want to take all that that was cultivated and just relax that into the channels of all our co-creation and love and community support. Lovely, 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 lovely. Thank you. Lindsay, would you like to go next? Hi, I'm Lindsay. And we're supposed to say, what our biggest goal is for 2021 and just a little bit about ourselves. Yeah. Okay. Um, I have, I guess like the last couple of months I've been shown and like given some like really cool tools from my sister um, and just like working through a lot of uh, shadow work and feeling a lot of like shifts externally as I like really feel like I've been able to work through some stuff internally and first time that I've been able to do that in a really, really long time. Um, and it just feels like a noticeable difference of like energetic weight um, and just in my ability to interact in myself and in my environment and with people on a regular basis. So it's giving me lots of clarity and making me feel really good. Um, and that's like been able to allow me to set a lot of great goals for 2021. And to sum up, I think the goals for 2021 is to just um, plant seeds for myself over the next like I don't know number of years I want to say like nine or ten within like a nine-year cycle um, so this year I just really want to be able to like plant seeds towards this like end goal that I have awesome thank you Brooke how about you oh um hello everyone I, I think my intention for 2021 is read more books, uh, learn more skills and share more knowledge and understand more things that I'm curious about. Um, yeah. Excellent. Thank you very much. And Nova. Uh, I guess my goals for 2021 uh, consist at least of uh, starting my degree and doing well in that. Um, yeah, mainly uh, creating something awesome for the world and reevaluating what I want to do with my life and picking a country to live in. Oh. Mm. Excellent. And Greg? Yeah, I don't see much. Oh, there, hi. Okay. Oh, I love, oh, this hat is great. <laughs> Too much. Is it my turn? Yeah. I, I want to see this uh, completion this year as a a project I started 20 years ago, and I'm, I, I want to see it to <clears throat> a, a, a measure of, uh, of completion this year. And um, merging these projects that we've been talking about, um, 
I think he's going to accomplish that. So, uh, without going into a lot of detail, that's that's what I'm here for. Awesome. Thank you, Greg. Uh, Chinoa. Um, I have got a number of, I'll bring my speaker right up here, my microphone. I have a number of goals for 2021, and I have not actually um, put too much contemplation into it yet, but um, I would say, uh, number one, I want to clear karma with many relationships. Mm -hmm. So I want to get that smooth, smooth out a few relationships. So that means a lot of personal clearing work. Uh, then uh, I want to, um, my other largest goal is my business, business to figure out my podcast, my new website and my new business model. And I'm gonna give myself some time. Plus I wanna make $5 million. Ah, 5 million, nice. <laughs> <laughs> It's more of the dream than the goal, but the other stuff are the goal. So, thank you. How did you arrive at that figure? It just came, popped out of my head right now. Okay. <laughs> Trust it. <laughs> oh, me. <laughs> um, well, I'm working out, actually, started working out about 20 intentions. Um, I've done it once with you, Elijah, and I thought it was really good for the year. I still have them. Um, and some are kind of the same. Um, so yeah, I'd like to see this year uh, really come to completion with all this stuff. And I was thinking all the stuff that, that I'm working with and have been working towards and with others that have been working towards really big things as well. I really want to create um, a contingency plan that really starts helping people, because um, I'm tight, um, <laughs> helps people um, move through um, different blocks with each other and um, really start a new, um, I guess, way of um, working in the real world with our mind, body, and spirit, and working with our emotions as well as what we, um, as what we do physically, you know, like, it's like we haven't really put it in the system so that it works for people's emotions. It doesn't have any, uh, I don't know. Anyway, nothing is empower nothing is more powerful than someone with an idea whose time has come. <laughs> I think the time has come. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> Thank you, Laura. Mm -hmm. I, I, I'd just like to ask, I guess, to have maybe about 10 or 15 minutes and to explain a bit from my perspective what this is and explain a bit who you are to me and how you fit. And then one of the main things we had said from last week was for us to share our gifts, because one of the biggest ideas about this is to make teams of people and bring them together based upon their gifts so that you can make a living based upon your gift, not just based upon a product. So we're looking at transforming the world's economic system by being a prototype team to show the world through media how we can come together and utilize each other's gifts together on a team infrastructure, which is behind me right now called the inflow matrix operating system. And the idea is that if we all share it as a reference point in our mind, if it becomes a map that we all agree to, to come together in commerce and to play different roles on this team and to find where our gifts fit together and to figure out what these gifts are and then to go through a process online where we learn a number of tools from something called the New Paradigm Toolkit that has maps, card sets, game boards, processes, and software. And what this is, is the beginning of learning one of the first maps and then seeing how we start to act differently, think differently, be differently 
when we feel connected energetically and through agreement with other people on the planet as a team. And looking at, at the synergy of the team, the parts coming together is something that we cannot do on our own. Each of us is an independent creator. Each of us here, I think, is a very powerful independent creator. But perhaps like, your, like myself, you found that working on your own can be very difficult, but it's also difficult to find people who can actually interact with you the way you want to interact, rather than come to some arbitrary system outside of ourselves and come together and work, right? So this is a research project. This is a jump into an innovative theory to see if human beings can come together by shared mental constructs first and using these tools to bring us together. So that said, I would like to go over to Jordan first and I would like to introduce each person a little bit just so you get a context for why they are in this room and why I am in this room. Because the one thing that is connecting us all together here is I know all of you. I've spent time with all of you. And to me, of all the people I've met, you are people that I have spent some time with and I, I have come to a point of appreciating your genius or seeing your potential and going, wow, this person is unique in what they have to offer the world. And one of the ideas again is we need something to connect us together. We need some sort of agreement system through business to go, we're gonna be different with each other than we are with the rest of the world. We're gonna approach each other differently because we're in some sort of agreement around business and doing commerce. And so that is something that Jordan and I have spoken about maybe, I don't know, was it a couple of years? But Jordan and I were involved in a, in a software company called Veen which is a, a new way of telling stories online. And what Jordan has is his own framework, conceptual framework that he's been working on for, I don't know specifically how long, but is a very comprehensive multi-dimensional bridge, I think, to fifth dimensional thinking and a new way of doing media. And so I would like to introduce to you Jordan Stillman and Take the floor, Jordan, and I would like you to sort of share your bigger vision and your gifts and what you want to, let's say, contribute to the team and what you want to kind of contribute to the world. Okay, that sounds fun. Um, last <laughs> time, I talked a little about the bullshit that stops us from connecting. And uh, I'm seeing this jump in like a caliber of perceiving information. And there's this, there seems to be this octave where information travels 30 times faster and clearer at this like higher resonance of thinking. So I've basically taken my, I've created something to, to what can I say there, work with my like mind and my natural process of thinking to actually uh, create like an acceleration of my thoughts. Uh, and it's like magnetized. So my thoughts and, and the different regions of my brain through the, like the time stream, the info matrix, a lot of Elijah's maps are magnetizing my personality aspects and, you know, my drives to get certain needs met and express certain desires. And they're assembled in a way that I can already assume going into any situation. Um, where to look for or where to connect to create balance in my own system to create peace and be an element in the group that creates harmony and stabilization and synergy amongst everyone in the room. And so in this may basically creating uh, how can any, any movements that I take create how can I maybe I'm going a little long winded. But the point is that you can basically skip pieces of information. Like if it's taking you 30 words to say one word in this higher caliber, it's a way of basically getting so comfortable with yourself and bringing that comfort to a group situation where you can bypass all these like deflecting karmic barriers and get to the heart of what's truly important to connect about. <laughs> Does that make sense? Did I come through like with some clarity? Yeah. <laughs> mm 
Mm-hmm. But you should, it allows you to think faster and you don't get caught up in so much karmic holes and trauma and self-doubt. I think I'm in a hole right now. <laughs> Uh, why don't we go over to you, Lara? And thank you very much, Jordan. That was fantastic. And thank you, Jordan. Lara, we'll just, I'll just do a quick, maybe not a quick one. I mean, I think that was a little too quick, Jordan. Um, but Lara is somebody who has the card set, <clears throat> someone who has painted in the front of her store actual models within the idea and has been utilizing the tools in her own work and personal life uh, in regards to communication and she is one of the few people who's expressed interest in taking her retail store and selling the tools and utilizing the game boards to have conversations and to sort of be a satellite of the school of conscious communication <clears throat> and uh, Lara has her own uh, deep gifts within something called the spinning ninny which is a, a new type of creative <coughs> space in the middle of Duncan where she's been for I think is it 10 years or nine years? Yeah, 11 years in business, but four years in Couch and Bay. Mm-hmm. Uh, she's also extremely gifted in terms of making clothing. She's very gifted in terms of being a hub within Duncan about you know, everyone's emotional problems. She's very gifted with children and with uh, food and people. And uh, anyway, uh, Lara, wh- why don't you speak a bit about your, your vision? That's it, thanks. <laughs> Um, (laughs) yeah that's basically yeah I want to bring it out into the world Uh, I'm also a belly dancer I like to dance through all these things metaphorically I guess as well Um, because that's my like the center of my creativity and my sacred space of it all um And I, I guess in my daily life, every day, I kind of catalyze people's other, like other people's creativity. And so I think through that, it really helps when it brings people together and it really um, helps activate people towards their joy. Um, I don't know. Um, I could say so much, I guess, too, but um, just to kind of touch back what Jordan was saying about um, about there's some certain things that it's just so hard to get through um, with all your blocks and your mind of and all the things that your trauma and all that kind of stuff in the way, and it and it really does help to be with others through it um, because there's there's other people with better skills in that department that can that could help and I feel like that's a really good thing that we're all coming together because maybe we can help each other go through those kind of blocks and uh, and catalyze our what we want to do with our creativity and really utilize our gifts to full potential you know what I mean Say a little bit more about the spinning mini. Could you say more <laughs> about the space that you've developed? Well, it's a it's a front for <laughs> conscious communication, but I'm hoping to make it not so much of a front, like make it an, a reality, because it all it works in itself already. Um, but there's nothing that says, hi, this is what I do. I am, this is what's happening. <clears throat> I have a, a whole sign and everything, school of conscious communication. I can put it up, but I need to have all the tools and all the things in place so that I, um, it seems serious and people can take it seriously. Um, and then we could use our humor within it. But, um, but I, It works as a boutique and I sell my clothing that I make and upcycled things that I make um, in it. And, um, pardon me. And 
Yeah, basically everyone that comes through the door, um, I can figure out where they're at with their creativity and try to catalyze that and ignite it in some way. Uh, so there's a lot of people that make things for my business or I just kind of point them in the right direction of like thinking more on a grander scale about themselves and their gifts. Um, <clears throat> Yeah, I guess I just, I want to bring people through this process and integrate with my own practices and um, make a difference, do something in the world that's going to help big time with um, the big shift in this new time. Um, I also do craft classes with kids. Um, must I do mm -hmm. lots of different things and I want to start a media show in there as well I'm the spinning ninny so I need to uh organize my thoughts a little bit better so that I can focus talk about that a little bit the that idea <clears throat> what's that the... what you just said a media um sh uh, how did you put it a media show yeah well I want to okay I want to start the ninny news and the ninny news is uh, basically, um, a news channel from that works from your heart with community, community and teaches people um, basic things like uh, what words mean, how um, how to be authentic, how to have integrity, like things like that, and really show uh, real life examples of how to. Um, do the right so, thing or um uh yeah i guess like play it out so that people can see oh this is this is what happens i can slow down and i can actually maybe have some empathy for this person maybe the word of the week is em empathy and we're doing an episode on empathy um that your shop is a stage your shop is like a backdrop for this it's a stage for this performance and you invite yeah. people in on a regular basis and there's some and, and you broadcast a, a podcast is I'm just trying to get concrete with what it is you want to make happen. Um, yeah, basically. Yeah, like that. Um, but I also want to have the time to edit it and um, like kind of set it up like a news station, but then also uh, kind of like a Sesame Street for adults. OK, nice. So, um, yeah, like I want to have a, a word bird, like Fred, Pen Fred, Fred Penner, <laughs> but have like, uh, my friend creates puppets and stuff. So she's making me a puppet for this and, um, and kind of like Care Bears where we go out into the world and see who needs some more caring and who needs some more love and where the, the, the heart -o meter the level meter is <laughs> and yeah, kind of use creativity in a way that um, is lighthearted and humorous, but also um, really educational mm -hmm. from the ground level, from anyone, from any um, walk of life can, can benefit from it, right? Mm -hmm. Does that make so, sense? <laughs> so it seems to, this, this has a lot to do with mythology, uh, you know, Campbell talked about the need for a new collective mythology that we were lost as a species because we're the, the, the old mythology is is no longer per relevant to us. It doesn't mean anything. And we have to create. And I, I see that everybody's in. Co I mean, that's setting the tone the, that's so much fun is also creating that mask, if you will, that gives that alter ego that gives us this space to to go for it mm. uh, I, I assume that's I mean the subject we're all here is super serious obviously it has to do with survival it has to do with, like things that are hard to put into words necessarily but the it's a story and it's an art I see it as an art movement and there are a lot of kindred spirit in mapping it and I'm on the East Coast of uh, 
New England and the U.S. and you are all on the West Coast and I think are, you're all kind of geographically in the same place, right? Mm -hmm. But there are all these, all these people. Well, anyway, there are, all, there are people every, we're not the only ones having this conversation is what I'm trying to say. So what's really interesting about consciousness and conscious communication is mapping the phenomenon of it as it as it surfaces around the world and that's something that's more about like an art movement and more about like having somebody write about this like a cura curated you know uh, it, it's it's got to be understood as a movement that people want to join and create their own pockets of their own I mean, this isn't something that it, it's, as I said before to Elijah, it's not about the cult of celebrity. You're creating a, a conscious collective movement here. So it's not about making your place the, it's not about you necessarily, right? I mean, everything you're yeah. saying is about a we thing. So how do you really frame that? It has to be framed in a way that people get it and want to be part of it right mm -hmm. so i just moved myself off the screen i i would just I like to say we, we've got a minute left in terms of this 40 minute limit i just like to say hello to zamir for uh coming in and um i think it, i'll just close it off here right now and then re-invite everyone in and then we'll start and why don't we go to you greg and you can go to your 4d free space because i feel like you need the floor okay do you, mind if I, do you mind if i suggest that we try something out for the next 40 when not as a, not a, a interrupt the agenda at all just a platform that i shared with elijah before but i don't think he shared it with you yeah he shared it with us would it, would um, it be easy for us it was to in all... the middle of our first meeting though that's why we, i don't think we all jumped onto it because oh it then i think out. we might have to oh. download something I'm not oh, sure. I don't remember that. I, I, I didn't have to download anything. Is it, is it, would it be easy for us to?